Hello guys, Aloy Andalus here from MBFX and Effective Technical Directors, and we have this question a lot. How to create spawn particles for dust or debris based on impact? Here our user HRVI2807 on the Effective Technical Director forums asked this. So I will cover this because I had a lot of people asking for that and there are different ways. So this is seen, I have some cubes falling down on a floor. This can be done with bullet or shape collision, uh, basic stuff with uh, gravity. The first that we will see how to do it is based on reintersect. So you can see that based on impact, we have these debris. This could be debris, this could be smoke, whatever you want. And we do it having the cubes and the floor on a PPAS AB. We filter by velocity, so you only want that this happens when the particles A, the cubes, are fast. We use an intersect. Intersect basically is throwing a ray from each pivot point of each particle, so it's not based on geometry, it's based on the location. And we are using the direction based on the velocity, so if this particle goes in diagonal, it will throw a ray on this diagonal velocity and it will check if it impacts. We are using the particle shape of our floor, that will be the B particle, you can see it here, floor on B. And then based on the heat position, we create these new particles and we have it per call. So every time it hits, it will spawn particles. So that's one way. The other is based on geometry. So it's more accurate, it's also more time consuming. You can see it will emit based actually on the actual geometry of the particle. So if instead of having a cube, you have another surface, it will adapt to this, to this geometry. Ray intersect, remember, it's only a hit, so it's only one static position. This will be based on the geometry. So we use the geom contact that is very powerful. On PIPAS AB, we have the same cubes and floor. We send it to an object to store the particles as an object. Geom contact makes all the magic. You can define the samples, the distance, and the radius is a filtering. Right now, I don't have filtering. You can filter this, but uh, if you, I increase the distance, you will see that the particles will be emitted from more places because it found more contact points. And that's all, and we create the spawn particles. What we are doing to don't keep emitting in this occasion is to send the particles to another group, in this case, cubes static, and we make them static. So this particle, after a while, they, they go to a different group. This geom contact can be quite heavy with a lot of geometry, but if you want to do geom to geom contact, it's the best way to do it. And finally, is using shape collision. You can do this as well with bullet. I will enable it because it was enabled until now. You need to have into account the order. This order is important because it represents a particle A and particle B collision. So right now, particle A, I am using cubes. You need to have cubes in top. If not, it's not working. So now you can see that also it's doing exactly the same. So basically I am saying if the particle A are cubes and the particle collision B are floor, I have this N here, so if this two is happening, plus the particles on A, the velocity, it's bigger, it's bigger than 15, create particles based on the collision position. And that's all. So quite easy. These particles are very basic, but you can add gravity on these particles, create a shape and make it interesting. But the basics are here. Shape collision, geometry based and dry intersect. I hope that you found this useful. I will add this example with the, these different variants on the forum. So if you want, join the forum on Effective Technical Directors. We are trying to help people with thinking particles. We start an Unreal forum. I am getting into Unreal, I found it quite interesting. Uh, Houdini particles, we had a lot of people working with Houdini, solving problems to other people. So come join the forum, guys. Thank you and see you soon.